Hey everybody, welcome back to Better Computer. My name is Matt and we are getting close to the end of the year. It's close to the end of 2022. We're full on in the holiday season and it's a time to reflect on the past year. And while there is a lot in the world as a society that we can reflect on this year, this channel isn't really suited to all that. What I am suited to is talking about great software and one of my absolute most essential favorite apps on the Mac is CleanShot X and I haven't made a video about it this year. Last year I did make a video going through every single feature in the app and why I loved it at the time. I'll put a link up here as well as in the description for you, but today there's an awesome new update out to the app that really elevates it to me. It takes something that I have been using two apps to do. I take the screenshot and clean shot and then I import it into another app to actually do some of the stuff that I think is really nice and helps me elevate my screenshots. It brings it all into CleanShot in a way that I think is really awesome and I'm gonna get tons of use out of and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's jump into the video. I'll show you how this new feature works and why it is just, it's so cool. Okay, so we are in my office and we're actually going to switch off this camera to the webcam because I'm gonna record the whole video, uh, the whole screen share at least, using my webcam and CleanShot. So uh, CleanShot recently added a feature where you can uh, kind of share your webcam in full screen and then click to go into just the corner of the screen and then click that to go back full screen. Uh, I'm gonna leave myself down in the bottom right corner. I can actually drag it around too. There's actually a, a whole bunch you can do, but I like the bottom right corner. Um, but yeah, so we wanna use this new background tool. So that's what we're here to talk about. Um, let me give you an example. Um, so at a very basic level, one thing you could do is take a screenshot of a window, uh, bring up the editor. You can mark it up like normal, right? Like I could add a box around this. I could add an arrow um, over there, cool. But the new feature is right here. You can also use uh, B on the keyboard to bring it up. Um, but basically you can add a background. And so you can add uh, any of these built-in gradients. You can add your own photos. You can use your current wallpaper. Um, you can use kind of a blurred version of the wallpaper or the screenshot itself. Uh, you can do solid colors. You can pick any color using the color picker. Uh, all that works here. And then you can adjust uh, things like the padding. So how much padding around there should this background take up? Um, how much shadow should there be under this? This one actually already has a shadow, so there's no need for an additional one uh, around the corners. Some of these will make more sense in the next screenshot. Um, and let's say I need to make sure it's a uh, constant aspect ratio. I need everything to be 16 by nine, right? 16 by nine, now when I adjust all these things, uh, it's going to make sure that the overall image that it's exporting stays 16 by nine. So let's say that's what we want, done. And we'll save it to the desktop um, and there you go. Now, that's only an okay use for it, right? Uh, I have an actual, an actual cooler one. So here's, um, maybe I wanted to share this kind of collection of collections <laughs> that I have uh, in Raindrop. Um, so I can go ahead and take a screenshot. I'm gonna take a screenshot of, let's do this. There we go. I'm gonna hide my browser actually, so you can really see this. Um, and now let's go into that background tool again. Cause if I share this, uh, screenshot with somebody, it looks kind of boring. There's not a lot there, especially if I'm sharing it to like a social feed, Ugh, it's, it's just kind of plain. So here's where these backgrounds really help. And again, we are going to make it 16 by nine because we know we're going to social media. Um, let's actually do like three by two is actually a little better for this one. Um, so first things first, let's select a background. Um, that's kind of cool, that's nice. I actually really like this, this is kind of a classy look. Um, so now I can just focus on my padding um, and inset. And so this is a little tight and it's not exactly even around, like right and left aren't quite the same, but top and bottom aren't. This is where you can use auto balance. Auto balance will automatically balance the image to make sure that the just the margins all around the content are the same. So this is now even, but it's really tight. And so this is where the inset tool comes in. If you do this, you can actually add space around the uh, the content of your screenshot to give it a little space. So something like that is good. I'm gonna reduce the corner radius. You can bring it all the way down to zero if you want or just an absurdly <laughs> rounded corners. Um, I'm gonna go with that. I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, I think the default shadow is pretty good. I won't really change that. And then the padding, let's reduce the padding just a smidge. So. That's the screenshot that I wanna share. And this looks a lot better, right? And I can still use all my tools. So if I wanted to, for example, say, um, put an arrow next to like three of them, I could do one, two, three. Like, there we go, I've got three arrows. All the markup tools work just like they do for normal screenshots. 
but I'm able to add a little just character to the screenshot that wasn't there before. And again, like the space around is really nice because it lets it breathe a little bit, um, but that's not possible because they're just literally is not that space over here in the real um, on the real website. There's the scroll bar here, there's the browser Chrome over on the left, but I'm able to add that here, which is really nice. And CleanShot just detects what the background color should be and does it. So that's really cool. Um, so I can go ahead and hit save. Uh, you can see it down here. And if I quick look at, this is so much better. Um, if for example, I went into my Mastodon feed and dragged this photo in, this is going to look a lot better in my feed. I'll even post it. Um, this is a test. Don't worry about it. So that this pops a lot better in the feed than that other screenshot would have. It just wouldn't have been as good. And this is really, really nice. So yeah, that is, I'm gonna delete that before anyone actually sees it. But anyway, that is more than enough for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.